In today's mobile-first world, businesses and developers face a constant challenge, reaching users on both Android and iOS platforms. Building separate native apps for each platform can be time-consuming, resource-intensive, and costly. This is where cross-platform mobile development frameworks come in, offering a way to build apps that run seamlessly on multiple platforms from a single code base. Among the leading contenders in this space are React Native and Flutter, two powerful frameworks that have taken the mobile development world by storm. React Native, developed by Facebook, leverages the popular JavaScript library, React to build native-like mobile applications. Flutter, created by Google, utilizes the Dart programming language and provides a rich set of pre-built widgets for crafting visually appealing and performant apps. Both frameworks have garnered significant attention and adoption, leading to a spirited debate about which one reigns supreme. In this essay, we will delve into the intricacies of React Native and Flutter, comparing their strengths and weaknesses across various aspects. We will explore their performance characteristics, development experiences, UI design capabilities, ecosystem support, and learning curves. By the end, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of these frameworks, allowing you to make informed decisions when choosing the best tool for your next mobile development project. React Native, from Facebook, is a dominant force in cross-platform mobile development. It empowers developers to build native-like experiences using JavaScript. Launched in 2015, it powers apps like Facebook, Instagram, and Airbnb. Developers can create apps for both Android and iOS seamlessly. React Native apps render using native UI elements for a fluid experience. Its rich ecosystem of pre-built components accelerates development. Flutter, Google's brainchild in the cross-platform mobile development arena, has rapidly gained popularity since its debut in 2017. Known for its ability to craft visually stunning and performant applications, Flutter has captured the attention of developers worldwide, powering apps like Google Ads, Alibaba, and Reflectly. Unlike React Native's approach of using a bridge to communicate with native components, Flutter takes a different route. It utilizes the Dart programming language, also developed by Google, to compile code directly into native ARM code. This compilation process eliminates the need for a bridge, resulting in faster app startup times and smoother animations. Flutter's architecture revolves around widgets, which are essentially building blocks for creating the user interface. These widgets are highly customizable and composable, allowing developers to build complex and visually rich UIs with ease. Flutter's Hot Reload feature is a game-changer for developers, enabling them to see the results of their code changes in real-time without having to restart the app. This iterative development process significantly speeds up development and enhances productivity. Moreover, Flutter's focus on providing a consistent UI experience across platforms ensures that apps look and feel native-like on both Android and iOS. React Native and Flutter both bring their A-game to performance, each with unique strengths. React Native can encounter performance bottlenecks due to its bridge for native components. Flutter boasts impressive performance with a head-of-time compilation. Compiling Dart code directly into native ARM code results in faster startup times and smoother animations. In benchmarks, Flutter often edges out React Native in raw performance. Both frameworks allow performance optimizations, making the difference less noticeable for many apps. Section 5. Development Experience, Ease of Use and Libraries, React Native and Flutter. Both aim to provide a smooth development experience. React Native leverages the JavaScript ecosystem, offering numerous libraries and tools. Its hot reloading feature speeds up development by reflecting code changes instantly. Flutter uses Dart, which is easy to learn for Java or c -sharp developers. Flutter's stateful hot reload preserves app state during code changes. Both frameworks have extensive ecosystems with React Native benefiting from the vast JavaScript community. Section 6, JavaScript versus Dart A Language Comparison, React, Native and Flutter. Each rely on different programming languages, JavaScript and Dart respectively, which significantly influence the development experience. JavaScript, a dynamically typed language, is widely used for web development and enjoys immense popularity among developers. Its dynamic nature allows for rapid prototyping and flexibility, but it can also lead to runtime errors if not handled carefully. Dart, on the other hand, is a statically typed language developed by Google. 
Its syntax, similar to Java and C Sharp, might be easier to learn for developers coming from those backgrounds. Static typing in Dart helps catch errors during compile time, leading to more robust and predictable code. Additionally, Dart's support for both Ahead of Time AOT, and Just-in-Time JIT compilation contributes to Flutter's performance advantages. Choosing between JavaScript and Dart often boils down to personal preferences and the developer's existing skill set. JavaScript's ubiquity in web development and its vast ecosystem make it an attractive choice for many. Dart's performance benefits and static typing might appeal to developers who prioritize code robustness and performance. UI design flexibility, native versus custom approaches. UI design is crucial for mobile app success. React Native and Flutter offer unique UI design approaches. React Native uses platform-specific components for a native feel. Flutter provides pre-built widgets for consistent UI across platforms. Choose based on your app's specific requirements. Section 8. Ecosystem and Community Support and Resources Both React Native and Flutter enjoy thriving ecosystems and vibrant communities, providing developers with ample support and resources. React Native, being the older of the two frameworks, benefits from a larger and more established community. The vast number of React Native developers worldwide translates into a wealth of libraries, tools, and online resources. Flutter, while having a smaller community compared to React Native, is rapidly catching up. Google's backing and the framework's growing popularity have led to a surge in community contributions. The Flutter team actively maintains a comprehensive set of packages and plugins, covering a wide range of functionalities. When it comes to online resources, both frameworks are well documented and supported. React Native's official documentation provides a comprehensive overview of the framework, while numerous tutorials, articles, and online courses cater to developers of all skill levels. Flutter's documentation is equally impressive, offering detailed explanations, code examples, and interactive demos. Section 9. Learning Curve, From Beginner to Expert The learning curve for React Native and Flutter can vary depending on the developer's prior experience and familiarity with certain concepts. React Native, utilizing JavaScript and the React library might be easier to grasp for developers with prior web development experience. However, understanding the bridge concept and how React Native interacts with native components might take some time. Flutter, with its Dart programming language and widget-based architecture, might require a steeper learning curve for developers unfamiliar with these concepts. However, Dart's syntax is relatively easy to learn, and Flutter's hot reload feature and excellent documentation can significantly ease the learning process. For beginners with no prior mobile development experience, both frameworks offer relatively smooth entry points. React Native's Create React Native App command line tool allows developers to quickly set up a new project and start coding. Flutter's Flutter Create command serves a similar purpose, providing a boilerplate project structure. Section 10. Choosing the right framework, factors to consider. Choosing between React Native and Flutter for your next mobile development project depends on various factors specific to your needs and priorities. Consider the following aspects when making your decision. Project requirements. Evaluate the complexity of your app, its UI UX requirements, and performance expectations. Team skill set. Leverage your team's existing skills and experience with JavaScript, React, Dart, or other relevant technologies. Time to market. Analyze the urgency of your project and the importance of rapid development and deployment. Ecosystem and libraries. Assess the availability of libraries, packages, and tools for specific functionalities in each framework's ecosystem. Long-term maintenance. Consider the long-term maintainability of your app, code reusability, and the stability of the chosen framework. Section 11. Conclusion. The future of cross-platform development. React Native and Flutter represent the forefront of cross-platform mobile development, offering powerful tools and frameworks for building high-quality, performant applications. Each framework brings its unique strengths and weaknesses to the table, catering to different project requirements and developer preferences. As the mobile development landscape continues to evolve, both React Native and Flutter are poised to play integral roles, empowering developers to create innovative and engaging mobile experiences. The choice between the two ultimately depends on the specific needs of your project and your team's expertise. 
By carefully considering the factors discussed in this essay, you can make an informed decision that sets your mobile development project up for success.